It's Sunday school. Once again, boy, the week has flown by. We're finishing up the heart of the master. Uh, Alistair Crowley's uh, uh, masterpiece. It, it's Alistair Crowley's sort of mini Tao Te Ching. Well, that might be an exaggeration, but all of us are aware that Aleister Crowley, you know, called himself the prophet of the new Aeon, called himself uh, uh, the B666 and all of that stuff. And we know that he had an incredible sense of humor and uh, uh, a, a playful playfulness about his, uh, uh, his life and his work. But uh, uh, it, people often ask me, but did he really think he was that B666, you know, the same character as uh, in the book of Revelation and all of that? And actually, he did. And it's in the heart of the master, especially in this, this uh, last section here, where uh, his phase of illumination was such that he saw himself and his work positioned in the, the march of time and the evolution of human consciousness as his work fulfilling that, that role. And it's at this particular time in the, in the 20s that it is all sort of dawning on him with all of his initiations uh, up till that point, we're preparing him for, we're setting the pattern for what was, was happening on deeper and deeper levels with him. And, and he's coming to terms with that right now in this section of the Heart of the Master. So, part three, the Temple of Truth and the initiation. Now he's identifying with this character, uh, uh, Khaled Khan, uh, a, a soldier of previous incarnations in, uh, in, uh, in the Middle East. I, Khaled Khan, beheld that vision and received this voice upon the holy hill of Sadi Bau Said in the country now called Tunisia, but from of old sacred with many sanctuaries. Thus far it is permitted me to speak freely of that which came to me in my long search for the true wisdom, but to declare the mode of mine initiation, whereby I gained ingress to the place called the Temple of Truth. But by some Darel Halal. Now, uh, Darel Halal is one of the seven paradises. Uh, it's the abode of glory. Okay, I say in digression. But by some, Darel Halal, halal which is uh, forbidden. Oh, it is forbidden. Let me say that sentence again. Thus far it is permitted me to speak freely of that which came to me in my long search for the true wisdom, but to declare the mode of mine initiation, whereby I gained ingress to the place called the Temple of Truth, but by some Dar el Halal, it is forbidden. Nor may I disclose in what land that house is to be found, more openly than to say it is cut from living rock in the middle point of the summit of a high mountain apart in the range Jebel el Ashara. Now being brought after many days into a place where light was, being shown through the carven screen of topaz graved with a rose of 49 petals on a Greek cross from the sun, and that also at midnight I found myself in the presence 
of a certain aged man, for it was written that his days should be an hundred and twenty years, who stood before a table of seven sides, whereon were fire and wine and incense on a thurible and bread. Now, many of you will recognize the furniture and the furnishings of the vault of the adepts of the Golden Dawn uh, 5 equals 6 initiation ceremony. The vault being the seven sides, the rose cross, uh, uh, a design, the seven-sided figures, and the man of 120 years is Christian Rosenkreutz, who lived uh, to be 120 and is buried for 120 years in a cycles that repeat. But I digress. Now there's wine, uh, a fire and wine and incense on a thurible. Now that's part of the Golden Dawn Eucharist that is taken uh, at the consummation of the elements in the Golden Dawn Initiation Ceremony. Of these did he bid me partake, and they being consumed, he took a vial of golden oil from their midst and anointed mine eyes and mine ears and my lips. And with that, I was aware, aware of the image of a God, severe and noble and of aspect, his spirit utterly calm, in his right hand a sickle, and in his left an hourglass. And as I looked upon him, he reversed his wrist, and for the last, for the last grain of sand had fallen through. And then did my instructor point with a little wand to the great chart, not wholly filled, and th there came the shadow of a man's hand and drew the image of a lion at the end of the writing. Above this parchment, which was partly furled, was a square tablet of white marble on which inlaid, on which inlaid in gold, I read the characters about the image of an eye in the triangle, and the characters were S, and then a triangle of three dots, S, and another triangle of three dots. And this is being interpreted the Great White Brotherhood. Below was written, with us 2,000 years is as one day. Then my instructor showed me that the Brotherhood send forth one of their fellows every 2,000 years, bringing one word to serve mankind as a new formula of magic, that it may take one further step along the road that lead, leadeth to perfection. Also, twice in that period, it is at intervals of a little more than three and a little less than seven centuries, they send a lesser prophet to prepare the way f of the next word and to maintain or to restore the virtue of the word then current. And on the unfurled portions of the chart, I read the names of certain of these brethren and the words as one was uttered after the other. But some I could not read because the characters were strange. And here are the images of the, the character. Now, in this particular edition of The Heart of the Master, uh, my dear friend and, and uh, recently departed brother, James Wasserman, uh, was responsible for uh, choosing the images that uh, appear and, uh, and adorn the, uh, the book. So I'm going to show them to you. They're in half tone. So the first image was Fu Sai.
Fu Sai. I got to get that straight for everybody. Fu Sai. And that's spelled F U H S I in English. I'm sure many of you will be able to tell us historically or mythologically who that is. Now, after that image, after a great space uh, with few names and those illegible, okay, there were others past that, was the next one. Lao Tzu. Then Gautama. Then Zerdusht, Zoroaster. Then Pythagoras. These are the fellows of the Great White Brotherhood that manifested on Earth to deliver new formulas. Then Dionysus. Okay. Now, we know Dionysus was, I'm digressing here. We know Dionysus was the god of mythological proportions. But right after Dionysus, there's another god of mythological proportion, and that was. Osiris. Okay. Now, these were sent forth at the same time, and Dionysus under several diverse forms to enlighten six great civilizations. Now, Crowley, because of who knows, uh, early childhood uh, Christian uh, uh, abuse of his uh, uh, traumatic experience with Christianity often could not bring himself to uh, uh, kind of openly recognize uh, uh, Jesus Christ as uh, uh, the, the God of the formula, uh, the, the person of Jesus Christ. Of course, uh, the mythological character uh, and the aeonic, Osirian kind of uh, uh, formula that the, 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 the inner workings, the esoteric gospel, uh, that Jesus brought to the world, Crowley had the greatest respect for, but he lumped it under the, the umbrella of a Dionysian or an Osirian formula. Okay, so I'm not saying that uh, we should have Jesus's picture uh, right here for Dionysus and Osiris, but it could be placed there and it would mean exactly the same thing. And if we understand Crowley's uh, psychological makeup, you could see what he was grudgingly trying to say. But that's just my personal point of view and my personal uh, uh, digression. But anyway, we've got these. I'm going to... Uh, Zerdust, Pythagoras, Dionysus, and Osiris. Okay. These were sent forth at the same time, and Dionysus under several diverse forms, to enlighten six great civilizations, about to be drawn together by the opening up of communication over the planet by the expansion of the Roman Empire. After these there stood almost alone the name 
Apollyon. It's Ap Apollonius of Tyana. And many people over the in the early years of Christianity, uh, as Christianity was was starting to uh, 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 militantly take over the the world, uh, many people were confusing the the essence of the gospel of Jesus Christ uh, as that of the real flesh and blood uh, man Apollonius of Tyana. But about that extract, the whole width of the chart was the word E-A-O, I-A-O. Now that's the formula of, of uh, life, destruction, and, and resurrection. It's a catastrophic formula. Then came a blackness over the whole map, for at one time the brotherhood had been nigh utterly destroyed by a great sorcery of the Black Lodge, and the darkening of all counsel, and the confusion of all truth. I saw only one glimmer, bare, in, bare legible. Plotinus. And at the end of the darkness, amid many names which I could not read, Jacobus Burgundus Molensis. Now that may seem odd, but listen. For his name was in letters of fire. Did not the order of the temple prepare the Renaissance by fusing the mysteries of the East and the West? Then there burst out all of a sudden a whiteness on the chart, as if the stain had been expunged, albeit not wholly, by the sweep of steel, and this word writ in curving characters, scimitar sharp, Mohammed. Now it's obvious that these aren't adhering to chronological, strict chronological uh, order. And to the, to the wisdom and credit of our brother uh, uh, James Wasserman, uh, he did not put an image of Muhammad up. That is entirely a blank, a blank space. It was a very respectful thing uh, for our brother to do. After Muhammad, next was a name sore blurred. Sir Edward Kelly. Sore blurred with one writ in cipher, and in the center of all, within the emblem of a ruby red rose of five petals on a golden cross was engraved Christian Rosenkreutz. And that's the Mount of Abiegnus, the, temple, uh, the mountain of the Rosicrucians. For so were the brethren discreet to conceal his true name. After whom came three names great and terrible that I write not in this place. Lastly appeared this newly writ hieroglyph of the lion, and the name of that brother was hidden from me. Then I was shewn the mystery of the words, how in the first period of recorded history, men thought that life came from woman alone and worked by the formula of Isis, worshiping nature chaste and kindly, not understanding death or the arcanum of love. So when the time was right, appeared the brethren 
of the formula of Osiris, whose word is E-A-O. So that men worshipped man, thinking him subject to death, and his victory dependent upon resurrection. Even so conceived they of the Son as slain, and reborn with every day and every year. Now this great formula being fulfilled and turned into an abomination. See all these formulas. They're born, they flower, and then they turn to shit. Okay, they just turn into their to their opposite. As you can imagine, the just the example of I'm digressing here. Just the example of the of the enlightened uh, loving uh, message of the, the, the gospel that actually fell out of the lips of the character uh, Jesus, of the holy man Jesus, uh, how it just turned to shit when Paul took, took over and turned it into a self-loathing, hate-filled, fear-filled, uh, uh, hell, fire, and damnation monstrous uh, uh, doctrine of, of later Christianity. Can, can you see how this wonderful formula, you know, flowers and a few people just get completely zapped by it and then it turns to just into the opposite of what it really is okay that's how that's what happens in the cycle of these magical formula but i digress now this great formula being fulfilled and turned into an abomination this lion came forth to proclaim the aeon of horus the crowned and conquering child who dieth not nor is reborn, but goeth radiant ever upon his way. Even so goeth the sun. For as it is now known that night is not, is but the shadow of the earth, and so death is but the shadow of the body. And that veileth his light from its bearer. The body that veileth his light from its bearer. Of this prophet, this whose symbol is the lion, the word is Thelema. Now, the lion, you know, Crowley, uh, the lion, the Leo was ascending in Crowley's chart and uh, he incorporated the lion, uh, the lion glyph astrological glyph in his name, Alistair uh, Crowley. But also, on the circuitry of, of universal consciousness uh, that would be represented uh, in the form of a single tree of life, the activation of the path that runs between five and four on the the tree of life if, if we could project universal consciousness on the tree of life that path is tet the lion leo strength lust crowley on one level uh, held that his word his incarnation as, as a prophet was the result of the activation of the path of Tet on the tree of life, the second horizontal uh, path on the tree of life. It lit that up. And all the circuitry, okay, all the circuitry below that is now activated and bubbling away. Again, I digress. The prophet of this word is Thelema. Many and marvelous are the mysteries of this word and the numeration uh, thereof. Nor may I declare them save this simplest. 
for the sake of little children, nor may I, may I declare them save the simplest for the sake of children, love is the law, love under will. The chart was suddenly furled close and my instructor bade me turn. For there had come into that place a maiden, like a golden rose with curling locks and ruddy, and her breasts were bright ivory and her gait the gait of a young lioness. Upon her brows flamed a star sapphire, and on her cheek was a stark scar, a circle deep and splendid, in whose hands was a writing, and smiling she put it into mine. Now I knew not by what name to thank her for this courtesy, which, understanding, she told me, my name is the Star of the North. And this was the proclamation. And it comes in, in a form of, like a certificate. To, To man, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. My term of office upon the earth being come into the year, in the year of the foundation of the Theosophical Society, I took upon myself in my turn the sin of the whole world, that the prophecies might be fulfilled so that mankind may take the next step from the magical formula of Osiris to that of Horus. And mine hour being upon me, I now proclaim my law. The word of the law is Thelema, given in the midst of the Mediterranean Sea, AN 22, Saul in three degrees Libra, the day of Jupiter. By me, Tomegatherian 666, Logos Aeonos Thelema. Whoso understandeth may seek. Having read these words with great attention, eleven times I besought mine instructor, for the maiden had returned to her master, that he would clear those things which were dark to my understanding. Quote, in the light of the chart of the work of the Brotherhood, I said, the will of the Master and his word are made plain. But of his hour I know not, and I tremble before the darkness of this mystery of sin. Of this hour, answered my teacher, it is easy to speak. The work of our sister Helena Petrovna Blavatsky. The work of our sister Helena, Helena Petrovna Blavatsky was begun, was inaugurated at the very season of the birth on earth of our brother, the master whose word is Thelema. So Crowley was born. Uh, when the Theosophical Society was formulated. Uh, whose word is the Lima, whose name is yet hidden under the form of a lion. For it was most needful to prepare his way that he might proclaim his law in every land that is upon the surface of the earth. And this work has been done by the society founded to that end by our sister. Yet, even so, behold, full fifty years have passed, and only now is the hour of power come upon our brother, the lion, to utter his word with full efficacy to the whole earth. Now he was silent, and my spirit was so sore troubled, and my face darkened, for I approached the mystery of sin. But the countenance of my teacher was glad, 
and his ears fell from him like a mask, and his voice thrilled with the rapture of release. Tomorrow, we'll read the short little excerpt, The Mystery of Sin. And that's where we'll end Sunday School today. I hope you have a good rest of your weekend, and uh, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow with the mystery of sin. Continue to be good to yourself and be good to each other. Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Love is the law. Love under will. Sunday school is dismissed.